Hello friends, Sparky here. It's time to talk about the Save as PDF keyboard shortcut. Something I started writing about like 10 years ago at MaxSparky.com. Over the years, Apple's made little changes that broke it. Well, that happened again with Ventura. In fact, with, in the case of Ventura, they brought it back to the way it started. So I'm going to show you today how to reset up the print as PDF shortcut, why it works, and why it's so useful. So to begin with, let's open a note here. This is a sample Apple note. We got some uh, reading here from Marcus Aurelius. And let's say you want to print that as a PDF. Well, the Mac has got a great feature where if you hit the print dialog box, in fact, I did that really fast. You go to file, command P, and remember that that's important, command P. That opens the print dialog box. But down here in this bottom uh, left corner, you've got this button, uh, PDF. If you hit that, there's a save as PDF button. And if I click that, it saves it out as a PDF. It's been a feature on the Mac since uh, forever, and people love it. It's a great feature, but it's a pain in the neck to use your mouse to go down here and do all this stuff. Wouldn't it be better if you could just do that with a keyboard shortcut? And that's what I'm going to teach you how to do today. But before we create it, know how it's written here. Save as PDF with an ellipsis at the end. And the ellipsis is important. In fact, that's what they've added with Mac OS Ventura and why it broke for a lot of people that were using the older version. Years ago, they had an ellipsis. They took it out. Now they put it back in. So you want to pay particular attention to exactly how this is written so you, because you're going to need to recreate it exactly as it is, capitalization and everything. So save has a capital S, PDF is all capitalized. And this is an ellipses character. It's not three dots, it's the character, which on the Mac you trigger with the option semicolon key. So let's do that, all right? We're gonna go into the system settings. Uh, it used to be called system preferences, now it's system settings. And we're gonna go down to the keyboard menu. You look down here, it's about uh, towards the bottom. And then go over to the right, and you want to go to keyboard shortcuts, which has ironically an ellipses in the name. So we click that and then you need to go find the app shortcuts. This is very cryptic to get here. And this is why I know a lot of people have trouble with this, but keyboard settings, keyboard shortcuts, then app shortcuts. So there we are. And you can create your own here. And once you understand how this works, you'll find a lot more uses for this than just printing as PDF because you can create a keyboard shortcut for anything that's in a menu bar in any of your applications. But we're going to make the first one for all applications. Uh, so it's all applications and it's going to be save as PDF. And then that ellipses that I just talked about is that it needs to look exactly like this, just like it's written in the menu. If it's not exact, it won't work. And then we're going to give it a keyboard shortcut. And this is the little bit that's clever. We're going to use the exact same keyboard shortcut, command P, that we do to call up the print dialog box. And that way you don't have to move your fingers around. You just hold down the command key and you hit the P twice and you can save as PDF. It's much faster. So I'm going to click done. We've created it. Let's go back to that Apple note and I'm going to hit command P once. And while still holding down the command key, I'm going to hit the P again. And you can see now we've got the save as PDF dialog box. I can give it a name, give it a location and save it out as a PDF. I just noticed I happen to be running default folders X while I'm recording this, which is an add-on. So your save dialog box may look a little different than mine, but it works the same way. In fact, for the rest of the video, I'm going to turn that off. Okay, with the magic of screencasting, I just turned it off. I'm going to hit Command P and then Command P again. And you can say there's the clean dialog box without the default folders extras in it. Works the same way. All right, so that's it, really. If you get this down, you can create PDFs on your Mac just as quickly as you can hold down the command key and hit P twice. Now I find I use this most of all with Apple Mail and Apple Mail is a place where you often have emails that you wanna save as a PDF. And it might be an invoice that you wanna you know, save for your taxes or some documentation you just wanna create a record of. Uh, saving emails as PDFs is a great way to do that. But there's a little bit of a wrinkle with PDFs. So, here I am uh, with this craft uh, docs update email. I like the crafts app. They just did an update. I want to save it as a PDF. So if I hold down the command P and I hit P twice, it worked that time. Sometimes it takes a little bit longer or it doesn't trigger because the emails are so long that it doesn't have time to generate it. So uh, you may uh, have the issue where you hit the second P so fast that it just never gets to saving as PDF. Then you've got to do it again. It's really not that big of a deal. You can use it that way if you want. But Apple has kind of tried to make it easier. A few years ago to Apple Mail, they added a feature here uh, called export as PDF. And that is a different command. It jumps the line. 
It doesn't require you to open the print dialog box. It just goes straight to save it as a PDF. And it's called export as PDF. You see how they did that? It's got a different name. So you've got to create a separate entry for it in the system settings. But let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to go back over to the system settings. We're still in the keyboard. So I'm going to go to keyboard shortcuts. I'm going to go down to app shortcuts to Apple Mail. I'm going to hit plus here. And we're going to create a shortcut just for Apple Mail. So I'm going to scroll down until I get to Mail. I have a lot of apps. There we go. And the command is export as PDF. And again, uh, option semicolon to get that ellipses. If you use the three dots, not going to work. So if you use three dots and it doesn't work, that's, that's why. So option semicolon. And for the keyboard shortcut, we're going to use something different than command P because you don't want these shortcuts to overlap. I'm going to use option command P. And now we've got a separate shortcut for that. So I click done. I'm all set. And if I go back into mail now, you'll see under the file menu that that export as PDF now has a shortcut, option command P. And if I want to print an email as a PDF, rather than hit P and then wait the designated amount of time to do it again, I'm just going to hit option command P. And there we go. And like that, it just opens up into a save as PDF dialog box. So that's all there is to it. Uh, it's a little different for Apple Mail. You can have a separate command for that if you want. Creating these shortcuts, as you can see, really is not that difficult. And once you start using this, you'll find all sorts of uses for them. And uh, you can add as many as you want. It's a great feature in Apple's system settings that I think a lot of people don't realize exist. But even if you just use it to print PDFs, you're going to really appreciate it. I hope you enjoy this trick. Uh, go ahead and build your own macro here to print as PDF. If you like this content, head over to MaxSparky.com where I've got the Max Sparky Labs and field guides and all sorts of great material there to help you get better at being productive with your Mac. Thanks a lot and see you next time.